Hello, hello, more Dimmers here and welcome to another game from t Season 19. This time I would like to show you the game of Komodo, Komodo again. That was a huge surprise. Komodo just started to win the games. I'm not sure what happened. I'm, I don't follow the, the Komodo developers, what they changed in their engine. But we had the two wins by Komodo and I would like to show you one more game. Very interesting game by Komodo. Who's gonna play again as white against Scorpio and N. So this is another neural network uh, super engine. And without further ado, let's see what happened. Uh, in this game. So first eight moves as always we have you know prearranged so we have e4, c5, Sicilian defense, knight f3 and now d6. We have d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight f6 attacking the pawn on e4 and now knight c3. Everything is of course well known. We have a6, knight dwarf and now instead of bishop e3 the main line we have bishop g5. It's also a well known line. We have e6 and now very early f4. This is the, the main line, bishop e7 and now queen f3 with the idea if black plays, for example, b5 too early, there is the very serious tactic e5 with the attack on the knight and with the attack on the, on the rook. So that's uh, quite serious stuff. This is why usually queen c7 is played immediately uh, and after castle knight b to d7 and now b5 is not the problem because even e5 is played, then this bishop always can come to this diagonal with the attack on the queen. So there is no problem. However, Scorpio and N was forced to castle first. Uh, and now also we have castle by Komodo. This is move number nine. So uh, it was chosen by Komodo itself. So the engines are on their own. We have queen c7 immediately now and king b1. So Komodo first, you know, king goes to the safety. This is the one of the principles of course uh, and now we have b5 and now is it the problem to play e5 e5 and bishop b7 the queen is under attack but here actually komodo play e takes on d6 and now can black actually exchange the queens? It can, however, that, that means uh, white gonna win two pieces for the for the rook. So, uh, for example, bishop f3 and d takes on c7, bishop d1. And after uh, taking the, the knight, of course, black can win one pawn, uh, but that's all. And now black has the rook and the pawn for two pieces. So white stands better and shouldn't have a problem with the game. This is why Scorpio and N plays bishop d6. So material stays in balance. However, now the queen is under attack. Queen has to be moved to h3 and it's a very, very dangerous move. Because now how to continue? If black plays something like, let's say, knight c6. Developing move, pretty normal one. Uh, attacking this knight in the center, so why not? The problem is after bishop f6, uh, of course the knight cannot be taken because the bishop uh, will take it, so, so g takes on f6, but then bishop d3. And we already have the checkmate on h7. That's the problem. f5 is forced, but now white can actually sacrifice the knight on f5. And after taking the knight, again, we have the problem with the checkmate. So f6, but now rook d6. And the rook cannot be taken because again, we have the checkmate. So uh, pretty interesting, but at the end, white gonna have dominating position, two extra pawns, so definitely very easy win. This is why we have bishop e7 by Scorpio and now bishop d3 threatening to take the knight defender of h7 and then deliver a checkmate so something has to be done about that what would you play in this position because g6 looks like the obvious move in the paper there is the one problem with that move actually f5 is the strongest move in the position here believe me or not f5 is strong and now if the pawn is not taken let's say b4 attack the the knight then f takes on g6 h takes on g6 bishop g6 f takes on g6 knight e6 with the attack on the queen uh, on the rook as well and this attack is a very very dangerous and it's winning it's plus five in the evaluation of stockfish so definitely uh, really great 
Uh, also, if you play g6 and uh, you don't, and you decide just to take it, it looks like, you know, pretty logical. This knight can be actually sacrificed again, knight f5, g takes on f5, and now bishop f6, bishop f6, queen f5, again, we have a checkmate. So that's the problem. Rook e8, make the space for the, for the king is the only move, and after queen f6, uh, white also has a dominating position. This king gonna be in the troubles. The rook gonna be activated and this king is completely safe. No counterplay for black at all. So g6 is just losing. It looks like very, very solid move. This is why we have rook d8. So Scorpio and N just, you know, sacrifice the pawn. Actually, give up the pawn because they didn't have a choice. We cannot call it sacrifice. We have bishop f6, bishop f6, and now queen h7 We check. King f8, and now you can actually pause the video. It's a very important moment and try to find the winning continuation for white while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So the move we are looking for, it can be started with queen h8, but the important is soon after we have to play knight f5. Sacrifice this knight anyway. Uh, but the, the much more precise way of playing is knight f5 first. And now this would be a checkmate as all these squares are, are, are control. Uh, and now the problem is after g6, this knight can, can come to h6, so this actually is not really recommended. Then the queen can take on the on the g8 and on the on the f7, and the king gonna go to the to the mating net. So this is why a Scorpio and an N play e takes on f5. So winning the material, winning the piece. The problem is now queen h8, king e7. Uh, and now the E file and the D files are open. So, of course, we have rook h to e1 with check. And now, uh, where to move the king? Uh, king d6, king d7. It seems like king d6 is slightly better just to stay away from the light squares as we would have some, you know, uh, some double check. So that could be very, very dangerous. Uh, but then bishop e4, king c5, and after exchanging, let me just show you one variation after exchanging everything, white at the end can win back the material, and uh, white gonna have one extra pawn and dominating position, shouldn't have uh, problems with that game. So uh, this is one way of playing, but in our game we have king d7, inviting actually for some double checks. And now is the time where you can try to pause the video one more time and try to find the winning uh, continuation for white. It's not so easy, it's a very tricky one. Uh, it, you have to find some very nice tactic. However, if you find it, you should be very, very happy. While I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So if you if you take these pawns, it just doesn't work. I will just show you on this side. So the king cannot escape to c8. Um, over here, the king could escape to c8 simply. But here we have king c6. And after bishop e4, king b6, this king will always uh, protect the bishop. So even you exchange everything on d8, it doesn't really matter. Black actually stands better because uh, black have one extra piece. So should be enough. If bishop e4 immediately, it also doesn't work because now the king can actually go to c8, okay? And now after bishop f5, let's say the knight can go to d7 and everything is fine with the black's position. Still, you know, one extra piece for two, for two pawns, but also that should be enough. Maybe not to win, but at least to draw the game. But the move we are looking for is the only one move which still keeps the tension and still, uh, you know, gives white the initiative. And it's quite shocking. If you, if you found it, congratulations. Rook e8. Rook e8. So giving the rook for free. However, it's not for free because now uh, after rook e8, now we have the continuation bishop b5. This is what Komodo played. Uh, and now we have double check on the, on the king. But now we still get the initiative. How? Because after king c8, bishop not queen. If the queen that, that the game could be equal. But bishop 
e8 and this is very strong move because now we have a discovery and uh, do we have any serious discovery i hope you see that already this is a checkmate so very very serious discovery that would be the checkmate so this is why uh, Scorpio and, and play queen c5 making a space for the king and now we have queen g8 king c7 trying to escape with the king this way uh, but now queen f7 and the king cannot get there because that means the fork and black would lose the queen so that's not even possible this is why we have queen e7 and now queen c4 with check king b6 knight a4 and now king a7 finally in the safety but is it a safe is it so safe for the third time as i ask you for to pause the video this is so exciting game and again you have to find the only move which is winning in this position the only move this game is just insane uh, while i enjoy my cup of tea Okay, so the idea is to jump with the queen to b6, but of course this is not possible. So how to do that? Maybe come somehow on this diagonal. The problem is the queen controls uh, these squares and the bishop also controls some squares, so it's not even possible. And if you try this way maybe, try to maybe on this diagonal, the problem is it's just too slow. Knight c6, queen f2 and the king can just escape to b8 and everything is fine. Black st stands better. Uh, if you play queen b3 and we're gonna have a checkmate, Black has one resource, maybe you can miss that, but, but very, very strong resource. Bishop d4 saves the game. Of course, the bishop cannot be taken because we're gonna have a checkmate on the first rank. This is the problem. So queen d3 uh, trying to, you know, uh, harass the bishop, but the bishop can just enjoy the life on, on this diagonal. Nothing can be done here. Bishop f2, queen d2, now bishop e3 can be played or even, you know, uh, not there, but bishop b6 also can be played and everything is fine with black position. The only move, winning move in this position is actually a3 a3 making a space for the king and now there are no checkmates and now queen b3 queen b6 is a extremely strong threat but of course black also have um, a time to remaneuver the pieces so knight c6 could be played but as black has some time first we have a5 so black doesn't want to exchange uh, this knight for the bishop and then this rook also would come that would be very very dangerous so queen b3 now and now knight a6 making a space for the king so a5 move make a space for the knight and the knight you know make the space uh, for the king very nice maneuver but now we have rook d7 attacking the queen and threatening the checkmate What's the game? What's the game? This is so exciting. Queen e1 with check and now king a2 is a very, very handy. Rook b8 defending the bishop uh, and now queen b6. We have king a8 and now white decided to exchange the rook for two pieces. So we have rook b7, rook b7, queen a6 and king b8. Uh, and now bishop c6 uh, threatening the, the checkmate in one move. We have queen e6 now pinning the bishop a bit. Uh, so we have b3 and now rook e7. And now how to continue? We have queen a8 with check, king c7. Queen a5, another trap by Komodo. This time, this bishop cannot be taken because if if the bishop is taken, then queen b6 and black gonna lose the queen. There is no way to avoid that. Here, we're gonna have a, a fork and of course... Uh, e6 is controlled by the queen also so that's the free queen so that's not possible and also if king d5 doesn't really matter c4 and there is only one move for black uh, but again the queen gonna be lost and the game so 
very nice uh, tactic of course uh, not for the engine so this is why in this position we have king c8 and now bishop d5 kicking the queen we have queen d6 and now knight b6 with check we have king c7 and now for the last time in this game i would like to uh, pause the video and find the winning continuation for white actually is forced checkmate in four so uh, you know already what you have to find it's very nice pattern and uh, yeah while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready this one is easy very relaxing so black has the pieces on the dark squares so what white want to do is deliver the checkmate here on c8 okay uh, of course wh while the king is in d8 which is not difficult to deliver so queen a7 first kicking the king there is only one move king d8 and now queen a8 so uh, a little bit kind of triangulation let's say we have king c7 and now queen b7 king d8 and queen c8 with the with the check mate so uh very exciting game very beautiful i really enjoy that very nice attack sacrifice this sacrifice of knight opening the e file d file was just amazing and also this continuation in the corner where scorpio and n already you know saved the game but of course um komodo calculate everything very precisely and find the only way the only moves actually uh, to win the game so if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you want to see more games uh, engine games and other games on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one